Come. Cable sergeant. Constable. Sergeant. Constable Scanlon and McIntyre report to me here as soon as possible. That be all, Sergeant. Cable Constable Lonnie in Violet Town. Give him the same message. Tell him, be prepared two weeks duty in Mansfield and bring bush gear. Thomas, good trip, I trust. Uneventful, thank God. Excellent. Christ, Thomas, I almost forgot. I picked up a cable for you. It's from your wife. Oh, Christ, what is it? It's quite serious. Sit down. It says, Constable Lanigan of Oilet Town. From Mrs. Lanigan. Stop. Don't bother coming home. Stop. I've taken up with the butcher, Mr. Wilson, and I'm moved to New Zealand. Ah, oh, you bleeding legs, the lot of you! <laughs> <laughs> it's good to see you, Lonigan. Not so certain it's good to see you three. You should have seen your face. I had you, didn't I? <laughs> Not for a minute. Right. Well, why are we here? Well, I've known for some time, but had a cable. From Superintendent Sadlier, confirming it. Gentlemen, we're tasked with some decisive business. I'll read it so there's no confusion. Sergeant Kennedy, Mansfield. You to proceed forthwith in party with Constable Scanlon, Lonigan, and McIntyre to the vicinity of Wombat Ranges, there to search up and down the King River to apprehend if possible. Edward and Daniel Kelly, and accomplices of any. The party from Greta will depart simultaneously, two parties to act as pincers, with intent to force offenders in the paths of mounted patrols. Everyone concerned must treat the matter as strictly confidential. Jay Sadlier, Superintendent. We leave Friday for two days. It's a long way to the King River. If you don't mind me saying, Sergeant. And it's hard country. They don't call it the Wombat Ranges for nothing. I know that. I told Mr. Sadlier we'll establish a camp here at Stringy Bark Creek. That's seven miles beyond Monk's Sawmill. You give us a clear run to the east. That way we can take it one step at a time. It's one thing to arrest a felon in the street or in his parlour. It's another thing altogether, to track a man in the bush and take him by surprise. We're no black fellows. It's fine to keep it confidential, Sergeant. But the moment we set out, they'll get word of us quicker than cable. Look, I can see you all in easy, right? But they're young. We'll find them, bring them in, get them locked up, that will be done, right? See you all in the morning. Good night. Evening, Sergeant. Evening, Sergeant. baby. Hello, baby. Oh, I'm fine, thanks. And you? You can't talk, Dad. Can't talk? I can talk. Special baby talk. 
Only it's dark in here. <laughs> Isn't that right? Hmm? Isn't that right? Now, have you all done your chores? Yes, sir. Likely story. Come here. <laughs> yes, you do. Look at you all, beautiful, hmm? Now, I need to speak to your ma'am. All right, go and wash your faces for dinner. Mary, put James in his crib. What's for dinner? Mutton, potatoes. Why so serious? I know you're a handsome woman, Bridget Kennedy. All right. You must be away for a while. A week. Maybe two. Has someone been stealing horses again? Well, yes. What is the matter with people? Stealing from honest, hard-working folk. Life's hard enough as it is. It's not right. Where are you going? King River. King River? What's a King River? Bridget. We're going out to arrest the Kelly brothers. What? Michael, no. No, why you? Why me? I've had orders from Mr. Sadlier. It's my district. I... Come, sit, sit. I... I... I hope they've gone away. After they shot young Fitzpatrick. Michael, the wicked, dangerous men. And they'll be armed. Possibly. Probably. So will we. Look, it'll be fine. We may not even find him. Hmm? Listen, Bridget, I need you to be brave for me, all right? But you must tell no one. All right? No one. Not till I'm back. Children, dinner. Dear Lord, for what we're about to receive, let us all be truly thankful. God bless this beautiful family. And God bless this beautiful wife and mother. Amen. everything we need. Yeah, I'm still getting hold of a tent. I'm thinking maybe a rifle. You want to make a fortune, Sergeant? Now's your time. It's a gold escort. See if you can convince him to give us a couple of ounces each from their load. If you were an animal, Kennedy, you'd be an Irish hare. Like you, it's been a long time since I've seen one. <laughs> Johnny Kelly, you sneaky bastard. Uh, it's been a while. It has. Just down from Woods Point. What's all this about? Well, uh, just come inside, I'll tell you. Keep it to yourself. We're going out to King River. 
the rest of Kelly Brothers. Just the four of you. When? Oh, we'll leave tomorrow. There's a party for Greta going at the same time. Christ. They're dangerous. Yeah. I know. Desperate too. It's Ned I fear the most. You'll have to have your wits about you. It's about time you went after that bastard. I'm sick of people asking me if I'm related to it. I'm fucking tired of it. There's a hundred pounds on his head. That'd do nicely. There's not much use to me if I'm dead. Oh no, that'd be true. It'd be a terrible thing to leave such a fine young widow all alone. I daren't think the type of character that had come a-calling. <laughs> ah, come on. Cheer up, man. How is your family, Michael? That boy Johnny yours would be a grown young lad by now. He passed, just a while back. Only a little mite he was. I'm sorry, Michael. You have my sympathy. Uh, one day, gay as a lark, the next will. Isn't wake up. There's the darnest thing, life. God hands out the harshest deeds to those of good character. It makes me question <coughs> it is. He moves in mysterious ways. But I have five beautiful children, and as you're keenly aware, a handsome wife. And how is the lovely Bridget? <laughs> She's fine. She's well. She's wonderful. That's good to see you, old friend. Uh, and you. You know what arms they have? We have no idea. The feeling sadly you know three saying nothing. What arms are you? Well, we have a revolver reach. And the vicar, Mr. Sandyford, <laughs> lent us his shotgun. I must say, I'm impressed by the arms of your gold escort. Forward! If you can find a revolver for forward, I can give you the rifle. Done. Sergeant Kennedy is going on a dangerous endeavor, Horror, and we're going to give him the rifle. Really? Really. It's a Spencer repeater, magazine fed, lever action, by seven rounds as fast as you can operate it. Quite familiar. Thank you, John. My yeah, pleasure. I might go and say good evening to Mr. Scott. Right. Get the slot packed up. I'll see you back in the morning. You'll be on for two weeks. God willing. Don't take any unnecessary risks. We need you. I won't. Come back to me, Thomas. Do you hear me? Come back to me.
I go right then. I've got a feeling in my guts. I don't expect to come back. If I don't, you can have the dog. I do not like the look of that fellow. Mm. Hard to believe he's 19 in this. So little youth left of him. Oh, Mac, the Spencer. I've forgotten it. Christ, we're expecting to need such a powerful tank. Uh, would you mind fetching it for me? Have you an idea exactly where we'll camp? I'm taking the clearing. But the ruins of the old hut. Ah, I know it. Stop here for lunch. McIntyre! Christ. <laughs> First oh. Lord Lanigan. Oh, oh. I see the ruins of the hut there. We might camp here. Oh, fuck! Got a sore arse. I tell you what, lads. I would kill for a 12 year old Irish whiskey. A nice foot rub. And a little Galway lass with a nice hair. Tadies. A pair of Tadies would go down tatties, nice. Exactly. <laughs> oh, Wallaby. <laughs> you look a little worried, Lonigan. By the time I got to the beggar, the sergeant here had knocked him off his horse and two of them were scribbling in the dust. What the sergeant hadn't realised is when he pulled the beggar off his mount, he dragged his trousers down 
and his bad ass was blinding me. <laughs> <laughs> what was the reward for him? 60 pounds. Princely son. I must say, Sergeant, your skills are second to none. You seem to have acquired such skills which ages of civilization have robbed us. Skill of pulling down breaches. <laughs> what a skill to have. Troubles you, Lonigan. Edward Kelly. Yeah, what of him? I've dealt with the man before, as you know. He's a blackguard. A liar. A brute. A savage brute. A thieving fuck. Fitzpatrick hadn't gone to the house alone and got himself shot. He wouldn't be here now. Yeah. Regardless of that, he'd been assaulting and stealing for years before now. We had him in the lockup for being drunk in Benalla. September last. Fitz suggested we put the derbies on him. I agreed. Ned said no. I'll go quietly. Next thing we know, he's knocked up four of us down, made a runner for the boot shop. We followed him in, six of us now. By God, he's like a cut snake. Took us an age before we could subdue the bastard. Knocked us flying. Nearly broke my nose, he did. Had to squeeze his fucking balls to get the cuffs on him. He threatened to shoot me, he did. He said, I've never shot a man, Lonigan, but when I do, by God, you'll be my first. Nothing to worry about. We'll have them locked up by the end of the week. Uh, have some faith, hmm? It's a big day tomorrow. Let's get some rest. Morning, Sergeant. How did you sleep? I didn't. It's been fucking cold. You? Like a little baby. Thanks. The horses get far. No, but the pack horse broke its hobbles. Got him back though. Cross over at Ryan's branch and head east for the king. And you, Mac, and Lonigan stay here, keep an eye on the camp. Don't be uneasy if you're not home for dinner. I expect a long day's riding. Heard of a dog. Mac, see if you can bag us a wallaby. Can't be, but a few miles west of the king. No. I know this country very well, Michael. I think we're just out of the bogs. My guess is that they camped at Bullock Creek. Yeah, maybe so. There, in front of you. Good writer, that vagabond, isn't he? Ah, thanks. I really wanted that issue. See if all the stories about Pantry are true. Horrible fucking place. Ah, uh, yes.
What was that? I don't know. Kangaroos? You used one of those before? No, I haven't. Bobby is a trap. You would have thought I'd fired a gun by now. Thought you might have come across the Kellys. Just thought I'd try my luck in some lardy parrots. <laughs> Maybe they already know it here. Couldn't doubt it. Well, he knows there's two men on horseback. I think we'll head back. Good boy, Merchant Durkin. <laughs> I'm sick and tired of working. Instead of digging pennies, I'll be digging up suck gold. Sure as my name is McIntyre. Keep them up. Keep them up. Got any firearms? We're not. Where's your revolver? In the tent. Come out, you bastard! They're out. Who? Oh. Kennedy Scanlon. Can we not help him? Shut up. John would be alive if he hadn't gone for his gun. It's Tom Lonigan. It's not Tom Lonigan. I know who Tom Lonigan is. Tom Lonigan. I am glad for that. This fucker once gave me a fucking hiding in Banala. See the way he caught his revolver? It went like this. <laughs> no longer will these bastards lock us up. Put these on the cunt. What's the use in putting those on me? I thought you were in his flood. It's lucky you aren't. He seduced our Annie six years ago. And he came to arrest Alma on the day she died. 
No fucking respect. That's the greatest horse dealer, with the exception of myself and George King, that I know of. Distance shooting. It's one for you if you don't obey me. What's wrong with the carbine there? Ah, it's a curious old gun for a man to carry about the country with him. Keeps perhaps better than looks. I'd back it against any man in the country. So I can shoot a kangaroo from a hundred yards away with every shot from it. But this. This is a police weapon, isn't it? What better instrument to shoot a trap dog with? It's actually the Vicar Sandifoot's gun. What? The Vicar's gun? That old bastard. <laughs> Hold on there. Have you got any poison about the place? Why do you have poison? You smoke, mate. Well, fill your pipe and have a fucking smoke. I'd think twice about that if I were you. Because I'll track you to Mansfield and I'll shoot you in the police station myself. You have no right to be carrying long arms. He's intended us harm. We intended to apprehend you. And arrest what you! What weapons have Kennedy and Scanlon got? Armed in the usual way. What do you mean? Revolvers. Have they a long arm with them? Come now. Tell the truth. Because if I find out that you're lying to me, I'll put a fucking hole in you. Rifle. Was it a Peter or a muzzle loader? A Peter. We borrowed it from the gold escort the day before yesterday. This is good bread, McIntyre. Did you bake this? What else can you tell me of Kennedy and Scanlon? They probably won't be back tonight. The Catholics, you know. Well, I'll show them what a native can do. And what are you going to do with them? If you're going to shoot them down in cold blood, I'd rather be shot a thousand times and tell you one more word about them. I wouldn't shoot a man with his hands up. And what about the others? I can only speak for myself. Aye, that be fucking true. Take your places, lads. Watch out, Ned, or that bastard will be on top of you. You'd better not, because you'd be no match for me. Down there. Who showed you this place? Nobody. It's well known to everybody in Mansfield. And who's that shooting down by the creek? I was shooting the parrots. Why? Didn't you know that we were here? I didn't know you were within ten miles of this place. We thought you knew greater. You'll give no alarm, your dog. By Christ, I'll shoot you in the back.
Pinch your bastard off. I was trying to surrender, you bastard. Uh, came to uh, arrest us, I. Uh, Looks like you came to murder us. We came to arrest you. There are warrants. There's another party from the north. We're to meet up. Fire! Uh. Uh. What else can you tell me? What did you do with Lonigan? He's dead where he stood. Ah. Serves him right. I swear I'd shoot the bastard, and now I have. You shot Scanlon in the back, you cowardly cunt! I ain't a shot you too, didn't I? Steve, uh, Joe, uh, go follow McIntyre's tracks, see if he's come back around to ambush us. If I write to my wife, will you give it to her? In the event of my death. I will. Make it quick. I'll be off with you. God. children. For their sake, I can try and live. Come, come on. No. Oh. Oh. You, you cowardly can't. Make your peace.
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women. I was in Carrick Fergus only for nights, nights in Ballygrand. I would swim over the deepest ocean. The deepest ocean For my love to find But the sea is wide And I can't swim over If I could find me A handsome boatman To ferry me over Over to my love and I My childhood days Bring back sad reflections Of happy times Been so long ago My boyhood friends And my home relations Have all passed on now Like the melting snow but I'll spend my days In endless roaming Soft is the grass My bed is free Hard to be back now In Carrick Fergus That long road down to the salty sea, and in Kilkenny, there it is reported. There are marble stones there, as black as any ink. With gold and silver, 
I would support her But I'll sing no more now Till I get some sleep And I'm done today My life is over A drifting rover Oh, but I'm sick now And my days are numbered So come all ye young men And lay me down